Hi guys, welcome back to Paracor Planet. Today we're going to be going over a couple of adjustable grip hitches, and I'll be telling you about some of the pros and cons of each one as we go along. Let's dive right in. So both of these are pretty straightforward. I'm going to start with the adjustable grip hitch. That's what it's called. We just begin by passing the line around a standing object. This one is not supposed to be used with wide objects, so even this is probably a little bit wider than ideal, but definitely don't do this around a tree or the rope is going to slip. Pass the working end around the standing end once and twice going back towards your object and then once around both cords like this. And then you just tuck the end under that last pass. Hold that all tight. And then when you put tension on this end of the line, it holds, but you can still adjust it freely up and down. The midshipman's hitch is pretty similar. Start by going around your object again. Pass it around once, and then twice going back to the right so that this row stands between your other two. And then down far to the right, past your end here. And then just tie it off with a half hitch by sticking your working end underneath. Tighten that down. And again, this one should hold. I'm pulling from this end, but you can adjust it up and down. So these knots each have different things that are good and bad about them. The adjustable grip hitch, like I said, can't be tied around wide objects. If you tie it around something wide, it's going to slip a lot more easily. It is, however, easier to remember how to tie for most people, although both of these are pretty similar. The nice thing about the midshipman's hitch is that it can be tied in a line that's already under a load. So if there's already weight pulling on this end of the string, you can still tie it because after that first pass, the rope kind of locks up on itself and you don't have to be holding that, the tension on the line the whole time. Depending on the stiffness and the slipperiness of your lines, either one of these knots could slip, especially if it's not tied tightly. So make sure it's tightened down and tied properly before you trust any weight to it. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial of a couple of different kinds of adjustable hitch knots. We want to do more of these short knot tutorials in the future, so let us know what you want to see. Whether that be for various hobbies or just different kinds of knots, let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.